Let's get cooking in snow food. With Shane the Chef. That's the last table cleared, Dad. Wasn't breakfast busy this morning? There is nothing like a hearty, healthy breakfast. Especially on a snowy day like today, is he? Huh? What was that? Oh, it came from the backyard. Oh, sizzling saucepans. What happened here? Dad, look! A fox! Probably looking for something to eat. Aw, poor thing. It must be hard to find food when the ground's covered in snow. Hey, Izzy! Are you ready to come sledging? Oh, honey, I can't. I've got to help Dad clear up this mess. Oh, go on. Think I can manage a bit of extra cleaning up. Thanks, Dad. You're the best. Oh, Mario! No, no, you must wrap up warm, me bambino. Oh, it's a very cold today. Oh, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> What's in there? Oh, the usual. Ham and cheese in a ciabatta roll. Hold for salami, pickles, a slice of pandatoni, and a couple of cannoli. It's very kind of your mum to pack enough food for all of us. What? All of us? This is just for me. We know, Mario. We know. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Right, sheep. Time for your lunch. going on? Oh. Oh. oh, now I understand. Right, so that's cleared up. Let's get... Oh. Hello, Shane the chef. Shane? Oh, it's Maggie. You won't believe it, but my sheep have escaped. Oh, no. A fox? Oh, spook the sheep. Well, that is serious. Yeah, I'll be right over. And I'll bring help. I'm not sure two-on-one sledge is a good idea. Of course it is. It will be brilliant. Here we go! Uh -oh. Mario, watch out! Amazing! Too fast, too fast, too fast. Watch out! Ah. Oh, no! Ah. That was awesome! Can we do it again? <laughs> little things. If they wander off any further, there'll be no chance of getting them back before dark. Eddie could round them up for you. Oh, he doesn't look like much of a sheepdog. <laughs> What's it doing? I think it's hungry. Ah. Who wants a snowball fight? I'm in. But first, has anyone got some food we could give this squirrel? I didn't bring anything. Mario brought plenty. My lunch? But, uh, how do we even know squirrels like ciabatta and salami? How about, if you win the snowball fight, you can keep it. But if I win, you share it with the squirrel. No problem. I'll win easily. Ah, get off! Stop! <laughs> well, I think we have our winner. Whoopsie. <laughs> Ooh, Jeepy! Come here, you. Eddie, come on, lad. Show these sheep what you're made of. Leave this to me. Woo! Yes! Come on! Ah! Ooh. <laughs> Not quite what I had planned. Oh, this isn't going as well as I'd hoped. Here you go. Where are you going? You haven't finished your food. <gasps> I know you. You were rummaging through our bins earlier. Hmm. Where are you going? Izzy, come back. Izzy. Hey, where's he going? Jay? Izzy, come back. No, he's got to. Wait, she's she's come here, she <laughs> Sure, come, come, come to some. Hey, come here. Here she be. 
Come here, you. Hey. Gotcha. Ah, no. Jane, that sheep will turn back if you go left and cut her off. Do you hear me? Go left. Hey, come here, you. Oi. It worked. Sam, go right. JG, go left. Shane, down the centre. That's it, Shane. Goodbye. JG, left. Sam, circle right. JJ, hold. Sam, come away. Hold. We did it! Oh, Ooh, I had no idea you were such an expert at herding sheep, Maggie. My granddad was a shepherd. I used to watch him rounding up sheep with his dogs. Your granddad would be so proud of you. You're a great shepherd. And you were pretty good sheepdogs. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> you think herding sheep's hard work? You should try herding goats. In Mongolia I was. Lots of mountains in Mongolia. Hello, Mar Shane Wanda the chef. Was. Oh, hello, Shane. Have you seen Mario? He should have been home by now. Uh, no, I've not seen him since he left with the others. But don't worry. I'm at Maggie's with Sam and JG. We'll find them. Oh, thank you, Shane. Oh. On the highest okay, sheepdogs, time to round up some children. Lord of smelly old gods. Where's everyone gone? Wait for me. Are you sure they went this way? I think so. Jay, Izzy! Over here, and don't make a noise. Izzy, what are you doing here? Shh, take a look. Look, little ones. That's wow, amazing. Easy. Mario. Mario. Honey. Honey. Mario. Kids, where are you? Honey. Come on. Can you hear us? Oh, look. Eddie spotted something. Eddie may not be good at rounding up sheep, but he's an excellent tracker. <laughs> Easy. Cheers. Mario. Mario. Kids. Honey. Shh. Over here. But be quiet. You'll scare them. You'll scare who? Oh, oh, just oh, look at oh. I'm sure that fox was sniffing around the restaurant this morning. And that other one spooked my sheep. I recognise its wonky ear. They look really hungry. This cold weather's made it really hard for wild animals to find food. There must be something we can do to help them. Hmm. Think I know what we can do. Right, Izzy. So today, we're going to cook up something a little different. So we've got lard, birdseed, Leftover cheese, currants, oats, and sultanas. And empty yogurt pots and string. Right, let's get cooking for the, the animals. animals. go lovely bird cakes and we have plenty of leftover scraps for the foxes yay let's get feeding like Shane the chef has served up another treat. <laughs> You've done it again, Dad. The animals love it. Ah, oh, it's all thanks to you, Izzy. Sometimes we need reminding that nature needs a helping hand. Your mum would be so proud. Aw, Dad. Dr Izzy. Carrots look great, and this garlic. Are you all right, Shane? You sound a bit bunged up. Oh, I'm fine, Maggie. I'm, I'm fit as a fiddle. 
<coughs> Are you sure you're not coming down with something? Yeah, told you, Maggie. I'm fine. See you soon. <coughs> Bye. Oh! Shane, you forgot your garlic. Oh. <laughs> Morning, Izzy. What a lot of books you've got. Well, I've just been to the library, actually, Mrs Singh. I'm learning all I can about herbs. You know, down the ages, herbs and other plants were grown for more than just their taste. Garlic, for instance. People believed it was good for your skin and that it could even cure a cold. Cool. Thanks, Mrs Singh. Bye, Izzy. Uh. Mm. Yuck. Morning, JG. Is there something wrong with your porridge? Oh, I'm afraid so, Izzy. It's too salty. Not like Shane to get that wrong. Oh, dear. I'll tell Dad and get it sorted. Thanks. Dad? It smells really spicy in here. Oh, hi, Izzy. I got a load of great veg from Maggie this morning, so I'm making something spicy. A gumbo. A gumbo? What's a gumbo? Oh, it's, it's a spicy stew. Comes from a place in America called Louisiana. Mmm. I could do with a bit more spice. Sounds good. Can I try some? Ah! Dad! You okay, Dad. Izzy? <laughs> That's way too spicy. <laughs> How much did you put in there? Hang on. Oh, that's odd. Because I can hardly taste any spice. Dad! The onion's raw! Oh, I can't taste anything. Sizzling saucepans. Maggie must be right. I've got a cold. It must be a bad one if you can't taste anything. Oh, this is serious. The chef needs to be able to taste his own cooking. That would explain why you put too much salt in JG's porridge. Oh, no. Did I? I can't serve people food if I don't know what it tastes like. <coughs> I'll have to close the restaurant. I mustn't spread cold germs around the kitchen. There must be something to make you feel better, though. Hmm. <gasps> I bet Mama Polenta's got something. Can I help? I'm looking for something for Dad's cold. He can't taste a thing. He might even have to close the restaurant. Oh, Izzy, he wants to try my cold cure. Well, actually, my Mama's cold cure. And before that, her Mama's cold cure. Oh, so many Mamas ago. Go tell Shane I'll be right over. I've got just the thing. Did Mama Polenta have anything? Uh Never oh! fear! Mama's here! Uh. A little bit of this, mm -hmm. a little bit of that, or we'll have a lot of this, and presto! It is ready. Is it meant to be that colour? Don't be a baby. <coughs> My mama made this every time we were poorly. <coughs> How are you feeling, Dad? You know, I think it might have just, uh... <coughs> oh. Uh, 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 oh. <coughs> oh, I've never seen it do that before. Morning, Sam. Oh, hi there, Maggie. <coughs> oh, not you too, Sam. Shane's already full of cold. Don't you worry. I've got just the thing to keep the sniffles at bay. <coughs> Don't tell me. It's a piece of seaweed. This is the last of the flannels. Oh, to me, Izzy, quickly. Ooh, lovely and warm. <sighs> How do you feel now, Shane? <laughs> 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 Every fisherman knows there's a seaweed cure for whatever ails you. Headache, backache, armache, legache, nosache. <sighs> huh? Hi there, JG. Morning, you two. Oh, JG, you don't sound good. Oh, no. I think I've got the cold that's going around. I've got just the thing for that cold. Um, I'm suddenly feeling much better. Bye. Hang about, JG. <laughs> Goose grease and mustard. You want to rub down my chest? 
Just a little for the chest, the rest goes into the sock, and then I put it on your head. My grandpa did this as soon as he felt a sniffle. And it cured his cold? I don't know. He lived three villages away. I didn't see him much. Um, Mama Polenta, what's a snail for? Snail? That's odd. Hello? Anyone in? Hi, Maggie. What are you doing here? Hey, Izzy. Your dad left this garlic behind when he picked up today's delivery. Huh. The restaurant's not normally closed at this time of day, is it? Today is turning out to be a very not normal kind of day. Ah! Stand still, Shane! No! Uh, Izzy, uh, first, help me. you drink the onion juice and egg white, no! and then I rub the snail slime onto your chest. No, 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 no. Snail slime? I can see what you mean about not normal. <laughs> what on earth's going on here? Dad's oh, too poorly to open the restaurant. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mama Polenta oh. said she could cure his cold. Oh. No one can cure a cold. <laughs> Everyone knows that. Then, could someone please tell Mama Polenta? Oh, Shane, I can't help you if you don't stand still. <laughs> oh, Mama Polenta, not you too. Shane, you dropped your garlic earlier. I'm just returning it. Thanks, Maggie. <coughs> oh. Oh, chill! Oh. Oh. You know, when I was little and I had a cold, my mum would always make me a bowl of chicken soup. It always made me feel better. When I bumped into Mrs Singh earlier, she told me that garlic was good for cold. At least some people think so. Certainly sounds better than goose grease and mustard. Oh, what about chicken soup with roasted garlic? Oh, just the sound of that makes me feel better. Achoo! Izzy, there's some leftover chicken and a jug of vegetable stock in the fridge. But you still can't taste anything, Dad. What if it's like JG's porridge? It won't be, because you'll be making it. Chicken soup with roasted garlic coming up, everyone. Let's get Achoo! cooking! Chicken soup with roasted garlic. I hope it's all right. Whoa, hey, I can taste it. Oh, I must be feeling better. Izzy, this is delicious. <coughs> Such a delicate flavour, Izzy. Mm, I feel better already. Yeah, I might not be cured exactly, but I do feel much better. I don't think we'll have to close the restaurant after all. It's all thanks to you, Dr Izzy. Thanks, Dad. Hello, Shane. I've been hearing marvellous things about Izzy's chicken and garlic soup. Hi there, JG. Come on in. Just the taste is making me feel brighter. Is there any soup left? I think my seaweed's out of date. <laughs> Dr Izzy's chicken and roasted garlic soup will sort you out. Dad, you stop sneezing. Ah, oh, so I have. At last. No more sniffles, no more sneezes. Let's hope so. We can't have anyone else getting a... A co... A co... A chew. Oh, I think you might need some soup, Izzy. <laughs> <laughs> All that glitters. With Shane the Chef. Hmm. Chicken surprise? Couscous special? Um. Huh? What's that? Hello, Jay. Hi, Izzy. Hi, Shane. Do you like my metal detector? I'm hunting for treasure. Wow, that looks impressive. Cool. Haven't had much luck yet. Yoo-hoo, Shane! Hiya, Mama Polenta. What you got there? Pomegranates. Oh, one of the most ancient fruits in the world. Whoops! <laughs> you can eat these? 
<laughs> they don't look much on the outside, do they? But when you cut them open, oh, just look at that. Wow, the seeds look like jewels. Hmm, dual pomegranate juice, obviously, dual pomegranate chicken, and dual couscous. Dual couscous? Oh, <laughs> that sounds very glamorous. You might be onto something there, Mama Polenta. I wanted something different for the menu tonight. So how about a glamour evening? We could call it glam night. Glam night with dual chicken and dual couscous. And glamorous guests. <gasps> Everyone must wear something special. That's a nice idea, Mama Polenta. But how do I convince everyone to dress up? You worry about the food, Shane. Leave the rest to Mama Polenta. <laughs> Glam night, you say? Ooh, marvellous. We'll dress up for Shane, won't we, Sam? Of course, JG. It'll be just like the time I was presented to the Sultan of Orman in the Cave of Wonders. I was bejeweled in diamonds so sparkly, he had to put his sunglasses on. Oh, Sam! <laughs> Yes, OK, I'll give Eddie a brush, too. Fantastico! Now, who's the next? Oh, aha! Maggie! Huh? You'll come to Shane's glam night, won't you, Maggie? <laughs> glam night? Well, er, uh, oh, I don't know. I don't have anything glamorous to wear. I'm dressed for fence mending. That's what this fencing wire's for, to stop Millie the goat escaping again. Nothing sparkly in your wardrobe? No, just overalls, really. <gasps> then I will lend you something. Come with me. Ta-da! Glittery menus. Great idea. Now we need to get these pomegranates de-seeded. Can I help, Dad? Thanks, Izzy. I'll show you. You hold your pomegranate like this, whack it with a spoon until all the seeds drop out. Go on, give it a try. OK. This is fun, but a bit messy. Yeah. How about you do the rest outside? Oops. <laughs> oh, I've really got to go, Mama Polenta. That fence needs mending. It's here somewhere. Uh... <sighs> Ta da! <gasps> oh, Mama Polenta, that's gorgeous. But oh, it's a bit too fancy for me. Nonsense, Maggie! Try it on! <laughs> OK. Oh! <gasps> wow! Now you are ready for glam night. Well, if you're sure. Oh, thanks, Mama Polenta. I'll look after it, I promise. See you later. Bye-bye. <laughs> huh. That's a funny-looking blackbird. It's a magpie. They like treasure. Anything that glitters or sparkles, really. I think it likes these seeds. Well, Dad needs them for our glam night. Shoo! Shoo! Go away! How's the metal detecting going? Haven't found any treasure yet. I'm going to try for just a little longer, and then I'm giving up. I'll see you later. Oh, maybe I can do this. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Glam night, here I come. <laughs> Just as soon as I fix that fence. Oh, no. Too late. <laughs> Millie! And finally, the pomegranate juice goes over the chicken and into the oven. Timer set and... Millie! Uh, oh, that sounds like trouble. Millie! Oh, come back! <laughs> oi, oi, do you need some help? Oh, yes, please, Shane. Millie's escaped again. <laughs> no problem. Izzy, can you set the tables inside? I'll be right back. OK, Dad. Stay, Millie. Stay. <laughs> gotcha! Oof! Are you all right? Oh, yeah. Thanks, Shane. <laughs> uh, nice necklace, Maggie. Do you like it? Mama Polenta lent it to me for your glam night. It is very glamorous. Oh, <laughs> well, a bit too glamorous for chasing goats. <laughs> oh, come here, Millie! Shh, 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 shh. Oh, gotcha! 
Oh, thanks, Shane. Now all I need to do is fix Millie's fence. Well, you better hurry if you want to be back for glam night. Yeah, of course. At least I've got this. <gasps> the necklace! It's gone! Well, it can't have gone far. It's got to be here somewhere. <gasps> oh, no! Oh, what will I tell Mama Polenta? Have you lost something? Yes. Oh, I've lost the gold necklace Mama Polenta lent me. I don't know how I'm going to find it. You can borrow my metal detector if you like. Thanks, Jay. Let's just speed things up. Oh, I found something. Woo! Uh-oh. Oh, it's just a coin. Come on. Let's keep looking. Here it goes again. Look. Ooh, there's something here. Yes, I've got it. Oh, sizzling saucepans. Oh, it's no use, Shane. I'll just have to tell Mama Polenta I've lost her necklace. Not you again. Shoo! I'd better get this indoors. Ah, just in time. Perfect. Now to prepare the dual couscous. So, I've got couscous, parsley and vegetable stock. Right, let's get cooking. for the couscous to be ready now. Oh, some glamorous farmer I've turned out to be, Millie. I don't know how I'm going to tell Mama Polenta I've lost her necklace. <laughs> Ta-da! Wow, Izzy, you look very glam. Come and give me a hand. I'll just fluff up the couscous and then we can put the pomegranate seeds on top. OK. That's funny. Why is a metal detector beeping, Dad? Oh, dear. Maybe it is broken. No wonder we couldn't find Maggie's necklace. Well, something's wrong. It's meant to be a metal detector, not a fruit detector. Hang on a minute, Izzy. What's that? Mama Polenta's necklace. How did it end up here? I don't know. Unless... <laughs> Hiya. Maggie, I saved you a seed. Thank you, Mama Polenta. I'm afraid I've got something terrible to tell you. You're not wearing the necklace. Oh, didn't you like it? No, I loved it, but... Welcome to Glam Night with Jeweled Juice. Mmm, I like this juice. And Jeweled Pomegranate Chicken. Yum. Delicious. Mm. And, of course, freshly made jeweled couscous. <gasps> the necklace! What's it doing there? It's a long story. Escaped goats, a missing necklace, a treasure hunt. <gasps> How exciting! But also rather... Glamorous, <laughs> Mama Polenta. Exactly, Shane. Glamorous. Just like you, Maggie. Oh, Shane. <laughs> Easy Cheesy With Shane the Chef Stop it, Eddie! This isn't for you! It's Shane Sausage Meat! <clears throat> Maggie? Oh, thanks, Shane. It's been non-stop since I set up my stall this morning. <laughs> oh, is that all you've got left? Yep. I sold all my fruit and all my veg, except for these sweet potatoes. <laughs> Shane! Shane! Help! Eddie wants your sausage meat. Thanks, Mario. I'm going to use this to make sausages. They're going to be top of today's lunch menu. Down, Eddie. Eddie! <laughs> Stop it now. 
Oh! Whoops! Oh, look out, Shane! <laughs> Maggie, what's this? It's a sweet potato, Mario. They're like a potato, but sweet. Ah, <laughs> oh, yuck! That doesn't sound right. They're really tasty, Mario. The only potatoes I like are the ones that have been turned into chips. I tell you what. Drop by the restaurant later and I'll make sure there are chips on the menu. Chips? You bet. Mario! Oops. Gotta go. Um, can I take these? Of course. Just save some of whatever you make for me. <laughs> Thanks, Maggie. I'll see you later. <laughs> It's easy. Just dip it in the bucket and wipe it over the window. Can't I do it later? I'm starving. You clean the windows and I'll make a special dinner. Chips? Mama's special pasta. Oh, not again. Windows! <laughs> Hmm. What's this? Maggie had some leftover sweet potatoes and Mario mentioned chips. So I thought, hmm. oh, what's the problem, Izzy? I was cleaning the fridge and found these odd pieces of cheese. It seems such a waste to throw them out. Uh, you're right. It would be a waste. Tell you what, Izzy. Get the cheese grater. <laughs> Portion of chips. Give it to me. With salt and vinegar to have for my tea. Huh? I can't help it, Eddie. All I can think about is chips. <laughs> I bet Shane's making them right now. It's no good, Eddie. I've got to have some chips. That's the cheese grated. And the chips chopped. Chips? Sweet potato chips. Now to make the sausages. I've got to record this for the Shane the Chef channel. Let's get cooking. That's the sausages prepared. Now, back to the sweet potato chips. Come on, Eddie. Let's get those chips. cleaning going on. Now I arrange the sweet potato chips on a baking tray and season. Then drizzle some olive oil and... Oh, is that a customer? I'll go see. You keep going. Hello? Mario? Um, your dad promised me some chips and I... Wondered if they were ready yet? 
Sorry, Mario. Not quite. Then add a little rosemary and into the oven they go. La la la, la 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 la. Hey! Sizzling saucepans! Eddie! <laughs> Give those back! <laughs> oh! Where is that boy? Mario! Mario! Gotta go. Coming, Mama. Whoa, Eddie. Stop that dog. Eddie. This way, look. Sorry, Mama. Windows. Eddie, where did he go? Huh? Look, there he is. Look, there he goes. Over there. I can see him. Dad, catch him. Got ya. No, I haven't. <laughs> Got you this time. Oh. Oh, Dad. Oh, Eddie. <sighs> What are we going to serve our customers now? Uh, ah, I think I've got just the thing. We've turned Maggie's leftovers into delicious sweet potato chips. And to make them extra special... We add the leftover cheese I found in the fridge. Good job, Izzy. Come here, you. All finished, Mama. Good boy, Mario. Now you can have those chips. Yeah, chips. Here are those chips I promised you, Mario. Oh, you said you were making chips. That's right. Shane the Chef's Easy Cheesy Sweet Potato Chips. <laughs> oh. When Mario said you promised him chips, I don't think this is what he had in mind. <laughs> ah, Maggie. Hello. <laughs> you fancy a chip? Oh, mmm. Delicious. So this is what you did to my leftover sweet potatoes. Well, I'm so glad they didn't go to waste. Mmm. <laughs> wow, Shane. They were great. Have you got any more? <laughs> Maybe Shane can make you some more later, after you've finished your chores. Chores? But I finished cleaning the windows. The windows, yes. But, oh, Mario, the work is never done. Oh, Mama. <laughs> oh, Mario! <laughs> oh, do I have to? Can't I have more chips? Parsnip pandemonium. With Shane the Chef. Wow, Dad! Look at all this snow. Hey, Shane. <laughs> 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 Looks like someone else likes it, too. It's as cold as a polar bear's nose today. Well, it's perfect for my spicy parsnip soup, though. Oh, now there's a real treat. Yep, Maggie's promised me a whole load of parsnips. They'll be all the sweeter after this freezing cold weather. Reminds me of the time when I drove a team of huskies through the frozen <laughs> wastes of Greenland. My toes turned into popsicles. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Sam. Right, you are. Missed again, Mario. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get you. Mario! <gasps> Uh-oh. Did you take those crunchy munchies from the deli counter? Um, what crunchy munchies, Mama? <laughs> oh, Eddie. To me, please. Uh, and the other one. I said these are for after lunch, not before. <sighs> Sorry, Mama. Come on, let's go sledging. I think someone else wants to come too. <laughs> and I'd better get started on my soup. Maggie will be here with the parsnips soon. 
I can't wait. <gasps> oh, neither can Sam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the snow's so deep. Good thing the parsnips are protected under the polytunnel, or I'd never be able to dig them out, Millie. Oh, no! My polytunnel! Oh, how on earth am I going to get Shane's parsnips now? So there I was, stuck on an iceberg, floating out to sea with a homesick penguin. Oh. Yes, it is a very sad story. No, it's not your story, Sam. It's the onions. Oh, they get me every time. I know how to fix that. Try standing on one foot with a slice of bread in your mouth. It never fails. It's what all the top chefs do. Really? Well, all right, I'll give it a go. What? What will I lose? Ah! <sighs> Maybe it was for hiccups. Oh, I can't even see the parsnips, Millie, let alone dig them out. <laughs> oh, you found one. Oi, don't eat it. You can have the leaves. Now, let's see. Oh, it's frozen solid. Maybe if I tried pulling them out. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up! Oh. Phew, Eddie, did you have two breakfasts today? You weigh a ton. Don't talk about food. I'm starving. Can't believe Mama took my crunchy munchies. <gasps> Look! A crunchy munchie. Must have fallen out in my pocket. Yum. I don't know how you can eat those. They're disgusting. <laughs> They're not that bad, is he? I didn't say anything. <coughs> oh, dear. <gasps> it was Maggie. Look. <coughs> oh, whoa, duck! Saved. Thanks, Mario. I'm trying to dig these parsnips up for Shane. But I'm not having much luck. We'll help you. Yeah, <coughs> but <coughs> what about the sledging? Mario. OK, of course. Hey, Eddie, stop. <laughs> Looks like Eddie started helping already. Sorry about that, Shane. <gasps> oh, I remember now. You put a teaspoon in your mouth. That's what my old grandmother used to do. Yeah, I think I'll just soak the onions in water, Sam. It's much safer. Yeah, that's strange. No water coming out. Sizzling saucepans. No. Oh, I hope the pipes aren't frozen. Hmm. There you go. Mario, you're supposed to be helping. I am. I just made a snowman with all the snow I shoveled. <sighs> well, it's got to go somewhere. Mario! <sighs> it's not fair, ready. I am working hard. <whistles> hey, leave that alone. <whistles> Come back! Come back! <sighs> yep, they're frozen, all right. It's this cold weather that's gone and done it. Now, as I was saying, when I was in Greenland with those huskies... Uh, Sam, sorry. Look, I've got to get these pipes defrosted or I'll have to close the restaurant. I used to heat up my sleeping bag with a hairdryer. Lovely and warm it was. All the huskies would snuggle up to me and... A hairdryer? That's a great idea, Sam. Yeah? Uh, only problem is, we don't have a hairdryer. I have. Huh? It, it's Eddie's. He gets snow bubbles in his fur. Oh. <laughs> One, two, three, pull! Pull! Oh, it's no use. It's just too hard. Maybe if Mario pulled as well. Yeah. Where is Mario? Whoa. Cool sledging hill, Eddie. Hey, now we're here, we may as well sledge down. Come on, Eddie. <laughs> Here we go! Whoa, this is fun! Uh-oh, too fast, too fast! Ah! Ah! Try it now. Ah, she flows! Fantastic! Thanks, Sam. Right, now I can crack on with my soup. Well, I hope Maggie's on her way with those parsnips. She's cutting it a bit fine. Oh, I think it's time to give up, kids. Uh. We've been digging for hours and we've still only got one parsnip. And the snowman's got that. Oh, 
I'd better call Shane. He's going to be so disappointed. Whoa, watch out, hey. Eddie! We've gone too far! Watch out! Ah. Oh, no! Ouch! Ah! Look out! Oh. Mario! Oh, no! Ah. Phew! Mario! Sorry, Maggie. I didn't do it on purpose. Honest. You're a genius! I am? You've solved our fastnet problem! Yeah, Well done! Hello, Shane. Is Mario back yet? Uh, what are you doing? <coughs> Pardon? The teaspoon stops him crying when he's chopping onions. <laughs> well, I never. Well, it actually kind of works. All I need now are the parsnips. Did anyone say parsnips? Whoa! That's a good haul. Sorry they're late. We had a bit of trouble digging them out. Well, till Mario arrived. <laughs> Eddie and I saved the day, didn't we, Eddie? <coughs> I think I deserve my crunchy munchies now, Mama. All right, as long as you eat your lunch. Yes! Uh, excuse me, there's nothing fresh in there. I could make you something much tastier. Better than crunchy munchies? No way. I'll show you if you like. But first, my spicy parsnip soup. So, you chop the parsnips, into the stock they go, a pinch of Mama Polenta's spices, and we'll leave that to bubble away. Then I blend it, and it's done. Is that it? It's easy. Easy and delicious. Now for my parsnip crisps. Parsnip crisps? Yep. Give them a good scrub, slice them up, touch of oil, Bish bash bosh. What are we waiting for? Let's get cooking! Yay! Yay! I'm still not sure about parsnip crisps. Here we go. Spicy parsnip soup. And parsnip crisps. Delicious. Ta-da! Mmm, yummy. Mm. Mm. Oh, delicious. Mm. Wow, mm. yummy. Mario? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. They're OK. Better than OK, actually. I think he likes them. Yeah. Mm. I'll just give these to Eddie. <laughs> well, I think that says it all, doesn't it? <laughs> Potluck Christmas. With Shane the Chef. Oh, Shane, I think it's a brilliant idea. A festive meal for everyone on the night before Christmas. It's going to be a feast. Alf's delivering the turkey later today. And here's the vegetable order. It's quite a long list. I see what you mean. Whew. Is that everything? I think so. No. Wait. Brussels sprouts. OK. Although I'm not sure anyone really likes them. <laughs> Oh, well, I love sprouts. You could do so much with them, but I should be getting back. Alf's not the only delivery I'm waiting for today. All the Christmas presents I ordered are coming too. My presents are also being delivered today. <laughs> Whoops. Maggie, <laughs> not you as well. I'll load everything up and I'll be right over. Thanks, Maggie. I'll see you soon. Snow? For Christmas? <gasps> now that would be lovely. Look, I got Ooh. it, I got it. I've got, got one. Hello, you lot. This is great, isn't it? I hope it keeps on snowing. I'd love a white Christmas. I don't know about white Christmas, but I'm dreaming of presents. Lots of presents. <laughs> Christmas is about more than presents, Mario. Hey, Dad. Got the veg? Maggie's bringing it over. You should see her Brussels sprouts. They look fantastic. Sprouts? Oh, yuck. Oh, no. Sizzling saucepans. What a let down. What? Oh, oh, no. oh, no. Shane, Shane, I've just had the most terrible news. Me too. 
Well, you're not the only one. It's my online order for everyone's Christmas presents. This text says they won't arrive till after Christmas. Due to heavy demand... And the difficult weather conditions. I don't believe it. You all ordered your presents at the last minute as well. I'm afraid so. Just run out of time. Oh, I've just been so busy. Well, I'm a very busy fisherman, you know. No need to panic, everyone. Now, I've spent the last seven days taking detailed weather readings using an array of forecasting equipment. It clearly shows only a light snowfall, which will quickly melt, so the roads will be clear. Uh-oh. Hey, I, 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 Maybe I should check my settings. Oh, no! I was supposed to be delivering the turkey for tonight's feast. <gasps> That's it! My elf can go to the delivery centre and pick up all our presents. Phew! I think you might have just saved Christmas. Come on inside, everyone. This calls for some hot chocolate. Oh, oh dear. I don't like the look of this. Whoa! Whoa! Oh! oh. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, no! Oh, no, my veg boxes. Oh, where are they? Very well, caro mio. I understand. That was Alf. He got to the delivery centre OK, but now all the roads are blocked by snow. Oh, oh no. no. No, Dad. That's it, then. This means no presents, which means no Christmas. Don't worry. I can still make a cracking Christmas feast just with Maggie's veg. Uh, where is Maggie? Oh, just the person. Hello, Maggie. We were just talking about you. Where are the... What happened? Oh, no. Are you hurt? Oh, thank goodness. Well, stay right where you are. We're on our way. OK, everybody. Let's go. Maggie's counting on us. Aha! My veg! Maggie! Ooh. Oh! Maggie! Where are you? Can you hear us? It has got the scent of something. Oh, I can't see anything. Maggie! Oh, what? Eddie! Am I glad to see you? Oh, and we're glad to see you. Thank goodness you're OK. Oh, I'm fine. But the veg boxes were thrown out when the tuk-tuk crashed. I've only found this one so far. We've got to find the rest. I don't know, Maggie. The snow's getting really heavy now. And my seaweed is totally frozen. Look, we should be getting back. Sam's right. Let's just take this box and go. For you. Ah. I wonder what's in it. Sprouts! <gasps> Everybody hates sprouts. They're just so... sprouty. I have to admit, Mario's got a point. To be perfectly honest, oh, I've never liked them. Sprouts? I love them! Never used to mind until I got a job in Belgium on the world's biggest sprout farm. Sprouts for breakfast, lunch and dinner it was. Although they don't half make... Yep, thank you, Sam. And you're right. Sprouts can be very tasty. I'll show you. Oh, not on their own, surely. OK, everyone. Go home, take a look in your store cupboards, see what you can find. We're going to have a Christmas Eve potluck feast you'll never forget. Right, what have you got? some pancetta ham and parmesan cheese. I caught these prawns only this morning. The last of this season's honey. Oops. Hmm. I've been meaning to do something with this jasmine rice for ages. Yep, and we've got an onion, garlic... And some cream. So, Dad, what's next? Well, I think you know, Izzy. Let's get cooking! <laughs>
All I have to do now is add a drizzle of balsamic vinegar and Penny's delicious honey, and we've got oven roasted Brussels sprouts with honey and bacon. And that's not all. There's cream Brussels sprouts with caramelised onions and a sprout and prawn stir fry. Here you go, everyone. A Christmas potluck feast. Mmm. Oh, that does smell delicious. <laughs> yeah, but it still sprouts. Don't tell me you're scared of a little old sprout. Scared? Me? No way. Mmm. Mmm. OK, that's not too bad. Brilliant. Oh. Mm. Mm. Tasty. Oh. Mario, what's wrong? I thought you liked the food. I do. Even if it's made out of sprouts. I just wish Dad could be here. Me too, me bambino. Me too. Dad! Yay! Yes. 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 That's my elf! He always finds a way to come home. This is my science kit. I can feel it. This better be the new album from the Malignant Whalers. Thanks, Alf. Sid, are you sure you can carry all those? Of course. I'll be fine. Whoa! <laughs> well, that's the last of the presents. Now, have you got my... Whoa! <laughs> Turkey! Thanks, Alf. Mm -hmm. Now I've got everything I need for my Christmas Eve feast. What about all those tasty sprout dishes? Well, they're good enough to eat on their own. Tell you what, why don't I cook this turkey on Christmas Day? Christmas dinner for the whole town. That would be wonderful, Shane. We can find the rest of the veg tomorrow. Of course. I can't think of a better way to celebrate Christmas Day than a meal with everyone you love. Aww, Aww. Dad. <gasps> no way. Guess what I've just seen? <laughs> it's just Dad. There he goes, off on another delivery. So much to do tonight. <laughs> but he can't be. Can he? 